Hello there. I'm thrilled to share with you an exciting update we are rolling out. Today, we are introducing a groundbreaking feature for Librami, an advanced e-commerce integration with WooCommerce and WhatsApp. This update transforms you how you shop on WhatsApp. With Librami's sophisticated integration with WooCommerce, you can now manage all your products directly from WooCommerce backend. Plus, any orders placed through WhatsApp will seamlessly appear in WooCommerce order section. But that's not all. This update is packed with more amazing features. Let's set up a brand new WhatsApp store integration with WooCommerce and let's see how it works. In order to get access to Libromi's WhatsApp store feature, first you need to sign up for an account with Libromi.com and set up a phone number using the embedded sign up form. After that, you need to sign up to a paid package. The very next step is to create a meta catalog. To do that, you have to log into business.facebook.com and choose your business. And then click on this burger menu and open the commerce manager in a new tab. There you can see an option to create a catalog. Just click on this blue button and choose the e-commerce option and then select online products and click next. And there you can give a name to your catalog for example jolly underscore whatsapp catalog that is the website name. Create and then click on view catalog. After that go to the settings page and add some settings. Select a default language which will be English in this case and I'm selecting United Arab Emirates and save. Then navigate to the catalog page and uh, copy the catalog ID which we require. Now we can go back to the Libromis app and click on the chatbot icon. It will take you to the chatbots dashboard and then click on the e-commerce option. There you can see the options to select the platform. Right now there is options to integrate Shopify, WooCommerce and custom integration. In this video I'm going to follow with WooCommerce. Now we need to fill the form with the WooCommerce credentials. To get the credentials, navigate to the WooCommerce dashboard and then navigate to WooCommerce and then settings. Here you can see the advanced tab. There you can see the REST API submenu. There you can create an API key and then give a name like a WhatsApp integration and select the user and I'm selecting the read and write permission and generate the API key. That generated consumer key, I'm copying the key and pasting it here and then again selecting the consumer key and then pasting it here and also enter the website URL which is signsignals.com. This is a demo website. So I'm pasting the URL here and then click save. Now that will take you to this particular page. Now we need to enter the catalog ID which is missing here. To get the catalog ID again go to the commerce manager and copy the catalog ID and simply save it and update. Now again go back to the WooCommerce dashboard and then you need to install a plugin. Libromi has created a plugin to work this feature seamlessly. To install the plugin navigate to the plugin page and upload the plugin. You will receive the link to download the plugin when you activate the WooCommerce option with Libromi. Now upload the plugin and now I'm uploading the plugin. Simply install and activate the plugin. Now you can navigate to the WooCommerce menu. There you can find the Libromi e-commerce. Click on that and then it will take you to another page. There you can see an option to enter the e-commerce API key which you can find from the same page e-commerce token. Just copy the token from here and then paste. And also we can find the webbook information from here. This is a unique URL which generated when the plugin is activated. So just simply copy the webbook URL and then edit this page and save the webbook URL here. So the integration part is done. Now go back to the WooCommerce admin again. Now I'm navigating to the product page. I have added some products to the WordPress catalog already. And now you can see the same products on the WordPress website front end. These are the products we are about to sync with the WhatsApp catalog. Now before syncing, take a look at the meta catalog that you cannot see any product. So now let's sync the product. To do that, go to the WooCommerce. There you can see a option to sync the product with the WhatsApp. Just simply click that. This button will start syncing all the WooCommerce product with the WhatsApp. After a few seconds, the process will complete. And one more thing to note that if you want to avoid some product from being listed with WhatsApp, there is an option to do that. To do that, you simply edit the product and navigate to the inventory page and you can hide the product from WhatsApp catalog if read needed. If you select this option, the product will not list with WhatsApp. There is an another case. If you want to display the product on WhatsApp but don't want to display on the WordPress website, you can navigate to the publish section and simply edit the visibility to hidden. Then it won't display on the website. The Librami e-commerce plugin is enabled to sync all the product update to the Meta catalog. For example, if you make an update to the particular product, it will sync when you update the product. Also, if you bulk edit the product or if you bulk import the product, the, all the other cases, the product will be synced automatically with the Meta catalog. Now let's go back to the Meta catalog page and see if the product is already synced. Just refresh the page and see. Yes, the product seems successfully synced. Now we need to connect this catalog with the phone number. To do that, go back to the Librami panel. There you can see an option to edit the profile. Just click on that 
and then hover on top of the left menu there you can see the catalog menu click that and then choose the catalog there you can see the catalog on the drop down the catalog which we created earlier is jolly whatsapp catalog just select that and connect the catalog okay now go to the librom panel again now click on the e-commerce settings to enable the e-commerce on the whatsapp number that's all now back to the commerce manager to view the catalog now click on any product again click on the issue tab now you can see it's listed on whatsapp if there is no an issue you will see a whatsapp level with the green indicator here so which means the whatsapp catalog is successfully integrated now we can see the catalog in the whatsapp number now let's open the whatsapp screen and let's see if the catalog is displaying there I'm sharing my WhatsApp on the screen. Now you can see a shop icon on the top right side of the WhatsApp. So if I click on that, let's see. Yes, the catalog is loading right now. So the same product we seeing from the Meta catalog is displaying on the WhatsApp. So that part is done. Now the next step is to categorize the product. To do that, navigate to the sets menu. The sets means categories in Facebook. You can add up to 30 products in a single set. Only you can display 30 products in a single list. To create a new set, click on the create set button here. There you can see two options. One is use filters and another one is manually select items. If you have only very less products, you can use a manually select option. But if you have thousands of products, it's better to use the use filters. Right now I'm using use filters. When you sync the product from WooCommerce after installing the Libromi plugin, a field will be automatically created to filter the products. That is, you click on the select group ID and then you can see a custom label zero. Select custom label zero. And in the search field, you can search for the category. Now let's go back to the WooCommerce screen and the product. You can see categories used here. One is body and bath, hair care, and so on. So let's see, I'm searching for body and bath. So the category is already created. You can see 30 products is already under that category. So I'm creating a set named body and bath. And let's create one more category using the second feature that is manually select items. I'm creating another set for hair. Okay, okay, I'm manually selecting some products here and then create. So now we have two categories. Now we can go back to the Libromi e-commerce panel and simply click on the sync icon. So this will automatically sync all the products from Meta to the Libromi platform and then navigate to the product section. Now, if you select on the select drop down, you can see all the subcategories automatically appeared here. One is body and bath and hair care and all the products. Now we need to organize this category to parent and child categories to do that. First navigate to the categories and create a parent category named uh, default for example. If you have more than like 3000 product you can create a multiple list here and then I'm creating a category under that that will be wellness products okay. And then I'm selecting the list and assigning this particular wellness product under the category list and then save and then navigate to the subcategory there you can see all the sets available as the subcategories okay. Here select the wellness products category and then assign these subcategories under the wellness products and now save. So the hierarchy here is first there is a list named default list and then there is a category named wellness product and then there are subcategories under wellness products as body and bath and hair care. Now we can set up the chat board to trigger this catalog. To do that navigate to the dashboard and there click on the default chat board or create a new chat board okay. So I'm selecting a default chat board which was already created. So as you know, a chat board will start when a user sends this particular number. So it starts with the start module. To send a catalog immediately, you can use the catalog module, which you can find it from the e-commerce section. Catalog. Okay, simply drag and drop to the canvas and connect it from the start module. And there you can give a title like shop now, for example, and then give a body message like uh, now you can order from WhatsApp, click on below button and the button will be view categories. And here we can define which level of category should be open when user click on view categories button. Here we can see there is a list and category and said. So right now I'm using the category and then select the list from the list. So that will be default list and then select the category that will be wellness product. And now I'm saving the chat board. Now let's go back to the chat board dashboard and find the e-commerce board. This e-commerce board will be automatically created when we configure the e-commerce module. Let's open the e-commerce board and see how it's already defined. The e-commerce chat board will trigger when a user send an order message. And right now it is checking whether the address is already set. If the address is not already set, it will ask for the full address and it will save the address in a variable named delivery address. And then it will ask for the exact WhatsApp location and it will save to variable named exact location. After that, it is connecting with the group nine. If this system ordering from the WhatsApp for the second time, the address will be probably already set. 
so the board don't need to ask the address and location again so it will automatically prompt the user to select the address which is previously used and the user can continue from this step by selecting select and continue button when the user select the select and continue button it will send a notification to the wordpress server to set the location and the exact location after that this api module will fetch some order details using a post request we will get the details such as tax shipping charges and grand total from the wordpress api and then it will send to the user as a summary and then the chatbot will prompt to select the payment method to choose from which will be cash on delivery and pay online if a user select cash on delivery it will notify the wordpress server as the payment method will be cash on delivery if the user select the pay online button a payment link will be generated and sent to the user there are different payment gateways available such as stripe resolve pay insta mojo paypal phone pay and tap and multiple payment gateways can be integrated upon request and if the user make the payments online it will detect whether the payment is made if the payment is successful it will trigger that the order has been received i missed one step here if the payment is successful using the online payment similar to cash on delivery payment mode we can select the payment status as paid online that will be paid online and then connect it from the success edge and connect it from the group level to the final group and if you want to develop additional flows from the failed node you can also do that if you want to retry if the payment is failed you can simply connect the edge to the same group so now let's see the final result before testing the e-commerce chatbot i have cleared all the orders from the woocommerce so we will see when a new order happen to test the chatbot i have shared my whatsapp on the screen and sending a hi to this number so that's triggered the default chatbot now i'm selecting the view categories button now you can see the both sub categories here i'm selecting body and bot Now I have received the set message with the eleven items, so I'm selecting View Items button, and I can see all the products right there within WhatsApp. And if I want to see more information, I can click and see more information. And if I want to add to the cart, I can simply click on the plus sign, Add Counter. It will works exactly like an e-commerce system. And View Cart. And if I want to go back, I can see a cart icon on the bottom right side of the screen. and if i want to go back to the categories and select a different category like hair care it will send the products from hair care i have received the list message of hair care let's see the product and i'm selecting few more products from hair care view items and then i'm placing the order right now the system is asking to confirm the address which i used previously so i'm changing the address and let's see so it is asking me to enter my address that will be my example address flat 1234 for example and now it is asking me to confirm the address so i'm confirming and continuing so now i received an order summary message with an order id and the product and quantity i have ordered so the subtotal is 273 and there is a tax amount of 11.65 aed which is calculated from the woocommerce backend and there is no shipping charge if the shipping is configured it will also fetch based on the conditions and the grand total it seems 244 aed and it is asking me how i want to pay right now i'm selecting cash on delivery yes the order is finished thank you order has been received now let's go to the woocommerce orders page and see if the order is appearing there i'm refreshing the page yes the order seems created now i can click the order and see the more details so here you can see the products i have ordered and the subtotal tax and the order total and you can see whatsapp specific order id for this and the shipping and billing address is also saved so it seems all the features we implemented is successfully working if you want to customize this chatbot it is quite straight forward for instance we can add an option for the users to enter a coupon code which can then apply to an order we can also collect email address if needed or even require a doctor prescription as a file upload for pharmacy orders Thanks to WooCommerce's extensive plugin ecosystem, integrating with the PO system or in ERP is seamless. Also, you can directly push the order details to a third-party software using Libromis and native REST module. If you are interested to build a WhatsApp store for your WooCommerce store, sign up to libromi.com.